What's going on everybody? Today I'm taking a quick look at Hotline Miami since it was just released for the PlayStation 4. This game was previously released for the PlayStation 3 and Vita, and if you purchased it then, it is free on the PlayStation 4. It is currently on sale for around $8 for PlayStation Plus members, and I would highly recommend buying it now if you have not already. For those of you who don't know anything about the game, it's a little weird. You're a hitman in Miami during the early 80s. Each level requires you to move through a building, killing pretty much everyone in it. There's actually a pretty interesting story in here, as weird as it may be, and it will have you asking who is actually giving you these jobs, and why does it seem like your guy is slowly going crazy? For a game with pretty basic visuals, the violence is depicted in an extremely graphic way. This game is not for the faint of heart. The controls are fairly simple. You move with the left stick and change the way you are looking or aiming with the right stick. You can survey the building with the touchpad and lock onto enemies making it easier to shoot or hit them without missing. This is great because you die in one hit. If you die, you have to restart the section of the level you are on. You will die over and over and over again. This can be really frustrating, but once you start to get the hang of the game's controls and mechanics, it is incredibly fun and addicting. The levels are fairly short, but may take you anywhere between 10 to 30 minutes, depending on how you do. In between levels, you will get a small piece of the story. This makes you want to try one more level to see what's going to happen next. I can't say the ending is very satisfying, but it's still fun getting there. So you earn points during levels depending on how aggressive you are, the variety of weapons you use, how many times you died, how long it took you to complete it, and a few other variables. The higher the score you get, the faster you'll unlock new weapons and masks to use in the game. The masks all have different perks for your character, such as faster movement, starting with a knife, and many more. There's a level select, so you can go back anytime to try out a level with a different mask or raise your score. The biggest change for the PS4 version is the use of the touchpad. This works pretty well at moving the camera around, but I had trouble locking onto targets sometimes. I don't know if I missed something, or was doing it wrong, or if the game's just a little touchy. You can also shake your controller when an enemy's on the ground to finish them off, but I completely forgot about this after the tutorial and just used the strike button like normal. For $8, this game is practically a steal, especially if you have a Vito, which is my favorite platform to play it on. The story is bizarre, the soundtrack is hypnotizing, and the gameplay is fun and addicting. Grab this one while it's on sale and get ready for Hotline Miami 2, which will be coming to the PlayStation sometime in the near future. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more gameplay and reviews. I'm gonna let the video run till the end of this level, give you guys a look at what happens in between the levels real quick, and that'll be it. Enjoy!